Hello everyone. Welcome to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I want to introduce a book called The Devil's Dinner to You. The subtitle of this book is A Gastronomic and Cultural History of Chili Peppers. As you all know, chili peppers have a huge influence on cooking and diet in our daily lives. But do you know the origin and spread stories of chili peppers? Do you know why chili peppers have had such a profound impact on human society? Let's first look at the first part of the book, which talks about the origin and early history of chili peppers. Chili peppers originated in South America, with different opinions on the exact place of origin. Some say central Brazil, some say Guyana region. Archaeological research shows that ancient Mexicans had already started collecting and eating chili peppers around 7000 BC. But at that time, chili peppers were not common people's food, but more like a luxury enjoyed only by the nobility. Archaeologists have found some luxurious artifacts unearthed together with chili seeds in Mexico, indicating that only the upper class could afford chili peppers in the early days. Starting from the 15th century age of discovery, European colonists brought chili peppers back to Europe from the Americas, and then spread them to Asia, Africa and other places through maritime trade. Portuguese and Spanish explorers would use chili peppers to pay for purchasing African slaves, which also accelerated the spread of chili peppers in Africa. Next let's look at the second part of the book, which is about the edible and medicinal value of chili peppers. First is the edible aspect. Chili peppers are rich in vitamins A, C and B vitamins, as well as trace elements such as calcium, magnesium and iron. Research shows that appropriate consumption of chili peppers can aid metabolism, increase appetite, and benefit beauty and skin care. This is because capsaicin in chili peppers promotes the secretion of saliva and gastric juice in the human body, which is helpful for digestion and absorption, especially when eating rice. In addition, Chili peppers have antibacterial effects that can inhibit pathogens in food. Historically, people have also used chili peppers as a medicine. For example, chili oil can be used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Chili peppers can also be ground into powder, mixed with dust to make homemade chili bombs for warfare and self-defense. Of course, chili peppers do have some side effects on the human body. For example, they can irritate the oral mucosa and digestive tract causing oral ulcers or gastric diseases. Eating too much spicy food can also cause symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea. So we need to take it in moderation. The amount of spice each person can handle varies. Only by trying your own limit can you find the most suitable amount. After talking about the edible properties of chili peppers, let's look at the third part, which is about the relationship between chili peppers and human society and culture. This part is more abstract and requires us to think from multiple academic perspectives. First, from a physiological perspective. The reason humans can get addicted to eating chili peppers is because eating spicy food causes the body to secrete two chemicals in large quantities, namely endorphins and dopamine. Endorphins have a pain relief effect similar to opium, which can inhibit the transmission of pain signals to the brain. Dopamine is related to human happiness and satisfaction. Therefore, eating chili peppers can bring both pain and joy at the same time, which is why it can be addictive. Next is the psychological perspective, which involves the concept of benign masochism. So-called benign masochism refers to the fact that you feel pain and tension because of physical reactions, despite knowing that there is no real danger in front of you. Activities like roller coasters and watching horror movies belong to benign masochism. Eating chili peppers is the same your body feels pain, but your brain knows it's just an illusion without real harm. Deriving pleasure from the confrontation between pain and joy is the psychological motivation for eating spicy food. Finally, let's look at the sociological perspective. In a social group, people who can eat extremely spicy peppers often gain a sense of personalized identity. For example, Mexican children need to show they have grown up by eating chili peppers. Eating spicy food represents courage, uniqueness, and daring to compete. In today's context of globalization, the contrarian nature of chili peppers has also become a means of protecting the diversity of local cuisines. With their unique taste, chili peppers can resist the homogenization trend from foods like hamburgers and pizzas, and protect the characteristics of different regional food cultures. From a seemingly ordinary seasoning to a global cultural symbol influencing the whole world, 
the story of chili peppers is indeed astonishing. If you are also interested in this topic, I highly recommend you to purchase and read this book, it will definitely bring you more gains. Thank you all for watching this video, see you next time.